Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you watch on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, it is Startup Monday, this beginning of a whole new week. And today I thought I'd talk about areas that we need to innovate in. Now, everyone is talking about AI, 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 ChatGPT, ChatGPT, OpenAI, AI, AI, AI. The explosion of stuff that's going on in the AI space is ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. The, the space is getting super crowded. There's tons of stuff going on in that space. And yes, it's interesting. Yes, it's exciting. But do we really want to go where everyone else is going? Do we really want to be one of the failures in that space when so many, else, some, so many people are jumping in now? If you have a really good idea for an AI product, go for it. Now is the time because everyone is interested in doing something on the AI front. But if you ask me, there are so many other areas that we could do something with that don't necessarily have to do with AI, even though AI is part of everything. I think, the, I think AI is going to turn into something very similar to the internet itself, very similar to the internet itself. It is going to be integrated into everything. Everything, everything's going to have some kind of AI component. And I've talked about this many times in that one of the big issues I have with AI is that we don't have our own. We leverage Googles, we leverage OpenAIs, we leverage Amazons, we leverage Apples. We leverage all these AIs from these large companies. We don't have anyone developing an AI for us. Or maybe if you are out there and developing an AI for us, I'd love to profile you on my show. Just let me know thinkfuture at gmail.com. Send me an email and let me know. Chris at thinkfuture.com. But we're not going to talk about AI today. We're going to talk about a different, completely different issue because everyone's familiar with what's going on in the AI space. And I'm going to reserve that for some other days. Today, we're going to talk about power. Power, folks. Because without power, you have nothing. I mean, we had a power failure the other day and after a while, I couldn't even get on the internet. I couldn't do a damn thing. We are totally dependent on power. We cannot survive. How long can we possibly survive if power disappears? But there's plenty of power out there. There's plenty of energy out there. There's the sun. There's the wind. There's the water. There's so much energy. There's people walking. There's so much energy being created and just lost out there. Power is really the next place to be. If Because if you have power, if you have unlimited power, you can build and do anything. Look at the far future visions, like the culture series or Star Trek or some other far future vision where things are happening and you've got a post-scarcity society. Well, you cannot build this post-scarcity society without unlimited power. You need unlimited power. So we need to build more in the power space. Wouldn't it be great if you could build EVs that actually drove farther than gas-powered vehicles with the same size of battery? You know, that's what's happening out there right now. We are opening up whole new technologies in the power space. I was reading the other day something about water-based batteries. Water-based batteries have the potential of having a hundredfold or a thousandfold times power retention. Can you imagine your Tesla having, instead of a 300 mile range, a 3000 mile range or a 30,000 mile range? I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of times we're, we seem to be pushed into new technologies because it's not a hundred percent clear or even that much better than the technologies we have now. Like I have an ICE automobile today. The range of that automobile is about 330 miles. The range of a Tesla is about 330 miles. So why would I switch to a Tesla? I mean, sure, uh, I've said before that I'm, I'm not a huge believer in electric cars because the problem is you have no idea where that electricity is being generated. Now, if the electricity was being generated in the vehicle somehow, that would be different because 
I would have control and I would have a knowledge of where that electricity is being generated. But right now with EVs, you have no idea where the electricity is being generated. It could be generated in a dirty coal-fired plant. So you could be contributing to issues with sustainability just driving your Tesla around. But you don't know because the electricity is not being generated in your automobile. So if you ask me, there's got to be better ways of doing that. But like I said, if you could, can you imagine all of a sudden we'd be able to come out with batteries that were a hundred times, a thousand times better than the current batteries we have today? If the range went to 3000 miles instead of 300 miles, wouldn't that be more compelling, a lot more compelling for a, a typical ice driver today? If I could go 3,000 miles without filling up, wouldn't that be more compelling? What if I could go 5,000? What if I could drive from one end of the country to the other without having to stop to fuel up at all? I mean, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't anybody want to think about buying something like that? If, if the range anxiety disappeared completely, how would you feel about electric vehicles? So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that you know everyone is into the into AI right now, and all you can hear is AI. Hi, AI is at the top of the hype cycle, but underneath it all, there's still a lot of other issues to be dealing with. And if you ask me, power, being able to generate, store, and use power in an efficient way, is probably even more important than AI. And if we use AI to help us build new power supplies, new power systems then all the better. Because underneath it all, underlying everything that we're doing, we still have that power requirement. And some people might say, oh, power, that's just boring. That's foundational stuff. We've solved that, but we haven't. There's so much still to do on the power front. There's power all around us. There's energy all around us. We're just not capturing it. We're just letting it go. If we could figure out new ways, if you as a startup founder could figure out new ways of capturing and storing and using that power, I think, if anything, that may be an even more powerful innovation, a more disruptive innovation, a multi-unicorn innovation compared to building the next AI chatbot. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.